Hello, I'm Evgeny Yeliseev, a teacher of Russian language from RussianTheRussian.com. We often form new verbs adding prefixes. In some cases, the prefix is used only for obtaining the perfect verb from the imperfect one. For example, делать, сделать, to do, писать, написать, to write, читать, прочитать, to read. The first verb is imperfective, the second one is perfective. In other cases, the prefix concretizes the meaning of the verb. Читать, to read, перечитать, to reread, to read again, дочитать, to finish reading. Sometimes the prefix changes the verb meaning completely. For example, быть is to be, but прибыть is to arrive, забыть is to forget, добыть is to mine, to extract. Meanwhile, regardless of the prefix function, in the majority of cases the following rule is true. The verbs with the prefix are conjugated in the same manner that the original verb. For example, the verbs перечитать and дочитать are conjugated in the same way that the verb читать. Compare, please. Я читаю, ты читаешь, он читает. Я перечитаю, ты перечитаешь, он перечитает. Я дочитаю, ты дочитаешь, он дочитает. As you can see, the conjugation stays the same. But, as a rule, when an imperfective verb adds a prefix, the new verb becomes perfective. For example, the verbs писать and читать are imperfective and are used for specifying facts, repeated actions and processes, whereas such verbs as написать, прочитать, переписать, перечитать, дописать, дочитать are perfective and are used for specifying completed actions and results. When we conjugate a perfective verb, we obtain not the forms of the present tense, but those of the future perfective tense, which is translated into English as the future tense and not as a present one. For example, я читаю is I read, but я перечитаю is I will reread. Ты перечитаешь is you will reread. Он перечитает is he will reread. Мы перечитаем is we will reread. Вы перечитаете you will reread. Addressing several people, они перечитают they will reread. We will talk about the future tense later, and now we should remember that the prefixes don't affect the verb conjugation. The only exception is the prefix v. In all perfective verbs, this prefix is stressed. Compare, for example, думать – to think, but выдумать – to invent. Писать – to write, but выписать – to write out. Meanwhile, this is the only peculiarity of this prefix. All, except the stress, stays the same. Also, you should remember that such endings as yosh, yot, yom, and yote are always stressed. But when the stress falls on the prefix v, these endings become unstressed, and the letter yo must be replaced with the letter ye. Let's compare the forms of two verbs: brat to take and выбрать to choose. Я беру. Я выберу. Ты берешь, ты выберешь. Он берет, он выберет. Мы берем, мы выберем. Вы берете, вы выберете. Они берут, они выберут. Let's summarize. When an imperfective verb adds a prefix, as a rule, but not always, it becomes perfective. Verbs with a prefix have the same conjugation that the verb without prefix. When a perfective verb contains the prefix v, this prefix is always stressed. Conjugating a perfective verb, we obtain the future tense and not the present one. 
Well, that's all for now. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do it now. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, see you at the next video.